So I'm going to first put on my foundation. It's the Fit Me Matte Poreless Normal to Oily in Classic Ivory. And that's the um, Fit Me 120. I'm going to apply that with a Real Techniques 204 buffing brush. And what I like to do is I like to get a heap on my brush. And then I dab around in circles. It is very full coverage. It is hydrating for my skin. I also went in with the Maybelline <clears throat> Luminous and Smooth Primer. Um, this one cost me $20. It was on special. Um, on priceline.com here in Australia and it was and I get free shipping because I'm a part of their sister club and I enjoyed this foundation because I have very red congested skin. I've always had congested skin um, ever since I was a mum. Before I became a mum, my skin was really had no issues. I'd get um, the tiniest bit of cystic acne along the left of my jawline but that was nothing compared to what I used to get before and after having my children it was um, scary because I didn't know where to go or what to do so I'd go to um, the doctor surgery for my six week checkups and I'd always forget to say but wait my skin is aching and very sore and I don't know why can you help me and um, but eventually I went to Ella Bache, which is a beauty and wellness day spa you could call it um, and I used to go there a lot um, like every one or two months and um, they used to tell me that I have um, normal to oily skin but because of all of the um, pollutants and um, awful air quality um, and if I have allergies which I do get really bad allergies um, I have that contribution as well to my skin and it's not good I really don't 
don't like it. And I get um, allergy flare-ups on the regular. So that doesn't help me any. This concealer is my favourite. It's an absolute miracle worker. It's from the model's prefer makeup brand. It's the Argan Infusion Liquid Concealer in Fair. And it really lightens up the parts where I want it to be lightened. And I really enjoy using it. The other product I enjoy using as well is the Maybelline Stay Foundation. It is, it looks really pretty and it brightens up the um, bluish colour under my eyes. It's really cool. Okay, now that I've gotten my base done, what I like to do is I like to go in with <coughs> my Emco Beauty Instant Contour Beauty Wand and it's in the shade Medium Dark. Um, I haven't tried the light one yet because my skin's very weird and for one my skin might go or it's winter or it's autumn you need paler colors and in summer you need to look tan but i like my um arms and my legs go really dark in the summer so i it's like a constant battle but it's all good um I'm just going to put three dots three up on my forehead and around my lips even though they're big enough, I mean, don't need them to look any bigger. And then I go in with the Revlon uh, buffing brush. And this was in a brush kit that I had many years ago. And I just... I haven't been able to find it. <laughs> so whatever the heck I did with it, I really don't know. Um, I came from a family of five children. There was three boys and two girls. I'm the eldest girl. Well, I'm the fourth child, but I'm the firstborn daughter. And I didn't really have a good childhood but that's all right I'm here now <clears throat> I also done my brows off camera um, I used the OXX Kmart brow pencil it's only three dollars in the shade dark because I've got dark hair I like to match my eyebrow color <laughs> as well. Um, now I'll go in with the, oh here it is, 
OXX Studios. Brow pencil in dark. Um, what I also like to go in with is a little bit of my OXX Studios bronze whip. It's sort of a takeoff of the NARS um, or the Huda Beauty um, Tantor. Um, this is in, uh, it's a velvet finish and it's in the colour, it's not telling me. Nope, I can't read that. But it does complement my skin tone. I'm going in with the Glam by Manicare GD1 contour brush. And I like to get a little bit and move in these hairs. And I like to go here and it is very light you can't see it on camera but it does give my cheeks um, some more definition It's really sunny today, so it's um, a beautiful natural light coming into my room slash beauty studio. And even though it's spring here in Australia, I do really like to look bronzy and put together but it's really cold this spring I don't understand now that I'm finished with that I go in with my dry beauty blender this is an mco magic blender i go in with my rcma translucent powder it's three ounces which is 85.4 grams i'll put some in the cap It sort of looks like parmesan cheese when you're pouring it from the sieve. I go in with my dry beauty blender and I find dry beauty blenders are a lot easier than um, dampening it. I'm sorry about my sniffling allergies. And I don't bake usually unless I'm going out um, at night with my family. Um, I don't like to bake but in some places I have to because um, I do get oily um, on my forehead on my 
Cupid's bow. And that's why I put a lot of powder there. Oh, and on my nose too. Yeah, it's not fun. Okay, so now I just dust whatever parts I have um, forgotten. With this Emco Beauty powder brush. I bought a lot of my um Emco Beauty Emco Beauty products with um shopping at, at Woolworths here in Australia. two brands that I have bought um, a lot of that I haven't tried from the same brand. Um, I try to get them when I've got the extra money to do so. Um, this is the other brand that I really love. It's the Revolution um contour highlight and blush trio it is ultra fair um and i think this is when i was living in armadale and it was in the winters there you'd be completely pale like i tried to wear makeup that would suit that area <laughs> but it didn't work out but that's okay um I'm just going in and it really does show up I got a heap on the brush and then I just tapped it off and in some ways it sort of looks muddy but I haven't ever had this issue because I have always went in with a light hand and it just shows up really really well I just like to look bronzed and warm. I use both bronzer and contour to warm up my face because to me they're one in the same. Um, I've been loving the Revolution blusher in Peach Bliss. I really do enjoy peach blushes. because they're so buttery it's light but it's buildable I'm going in with my Emco Beauty blush and setting brush I've never used this to set my face I will one day when I because I wash my brushes every every day or every second day. Um, and I like to go in with a heavy hand with my blush because I like to have it show up on my skin. I like to have that colour back in my face instead of being so... Um, pale and light. 
lifeless. And now I'll go in with the highlighter in my Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. And I use the Emco Beauty um, contour brush. It does give my face um, some beautiful shine. And it's like whether you want a little bit of highlighter or not, you get what you get with this brush. You could tap it off, but I don't. And most days, um, because it's a Saturday here, most days I just go in with like a bold lipstick or a natural lip and bold eye. But I have been loving um, the Sarah and I trend. So I've been using my Revolution makeup palette it's the flawless matte 2 palette and I've been going in with this darker color and then working my way up and for my eyeliner I've been using these grayer looking colors I don't know why, but I just think they look so pretty. So I'm going in with the darker shade, tapping that off, going in and up and blending. And then doing the same on the other eye. Because if I just work on one eye and it turns out beautiful and then I try and work on the other eye, it turns out really bad. So I don't like to do one eye first. And then work on the other. I like to work on both eyes. And I also don't put... Um, highlighter or anything um, in my inner corner because I have a eye condition which is um, it's just really bad it's congenital um, what is it gosh I've hit a wall um I'll probably remember in another video, but um, congenital cataracts. My brain's working. <laughs> um, so I've had these since 
I found out in early 2016 um, after my second child was born, like way after, because um, I always get yearly or two yearly, like 24 month um, checkups on either my eyes, my general health and well-being or anything really.